In this video, I'm going to recommend four new guns that I would recommend for under a thousand pounds and seven second hand guns. So we'll start on the new guns. The new guns, I'm going to be completely honest, there isn't a lot of choice for 800 to a thousand pounds. You've got 88 and you've got yield it's. I'm going to be honest, you have got coughs, but I would stay away from coughs, stick to 88 and stick to yield it's. The reason why is because an 88 has got two or three years warranty, depending on what model. A yield it's has got five years warranty. Both of these two brands, you don't actually, they very rarely go wrong. They're pretty bulletproof. They're virtually copies of the Bretter and Brownie mark. So if you look at, this is an ATA that I'm gonna pick up. If you look at the whole action, it's virtually copied off of a Bretter. And then this is a yield it's, and again, the design, I wouldn't say copied, but is along the lines of a Browning. So that is why my ATA and my yield it is my choice for 800 to a thousand pounds. So I've got the ATA standard model, which starts at about 650 pounds. And I've got their clay shooting model, which goes up to about 900 pounds. This comes with an adjustable comb, up, down, left, right, external chokes. I've got the Yielded Steel Sporter. This comes with recoil pad, non-adjustable and adjustable, and they are under 900 pounds. These actually also come with external chance chokes and internal chokes. I've got the Steel Sporter, the bog standard model. This starts at 600 pounds. So if you're looking for something that's got five years warranty, height in the comb, brilliant little guns, 600 pounds, you can't go wrong. And then I've got a range of seven secondhand guns from Beretta, Browning, Sabati, Lorona. I've got one from Webley and Scott. Just a random pick of guns that would be my choice for you to pick. So I've got a Browning, 425 grade one these guns were built probably 25 years ago they were fantastic rally for money when they're new they never go wrong this gun is on the market for about 899 900 pounds so 850 to 900 pounds i've got the browning satori this is a little bit newer this is about 15 years 10 15 years old this is about 1200 pounds 1300 pounds fantastic value for money great little guns the satori had less engraving on it than the ordinary grade one 525 i've got the beretta little black onyx this specific gun is about 650 700 pounds slightly low in the comb no recoil pad but got the quality of beretta so quality of browning and Beretta is in this gun. So I've got the Beretta 680 series. And again, this is quite an old Beretta retail put on the shelf. If you look on Gun Trade, you can generally find these for about 800 pounds, 850. But great value for money. Again, they're 25 years old, 30 years old, but they don't go wrong. Fantastic. Keep them service, keep them clean. And they're great value for money guns. I've got a Sabati, which again is made just down the road from Beretta in Italy, another Italian gun manufacturer. This particular one is a bit, little bit beaten up, 650 pounds, great gun. If you want an Italian gun and you can't stretch to a Beretta, then this, or I'm gonna put another one, a Betanzoli, it's a fantastic value for money gun in there. I've then got a Lorona. This is that trap gun that I actually did a film on. Again, 550 pounds, great little gun for sporting or for trap. And then I have got a Webley and Scott, which I have put in there. Again, I wouldn't buy a new one, personally. I think they're really, really overpriced new, but you can generally pick one of these up secondhand for five or 600 pounds. They are made in Turkey. They're just not quite as good as the ATAs or the yield it's. So, but secondhand, you can find one of these on, on the market for about 600 pounds. So they're great secondhand guns. I just wouldn't quite step into a new one, that's all. That is a good pick, a good range 
of guns, whether you want to buy new with full warranties, whether you want to buy second hand. If you buy your guns from a decent shooting school, they will give you warranty. They will make sure that gun works correctly. They will make sure that gun fits you. They'll go out and they'll go that extra way because that shooting school wants to keep you as an ongoing customer. So I hope you've all enjoyed this program. Please comment below if you think I've missed something out on my second-hand guns. I would say there is one gun I've missed out and that is the second-hand Maruku. You can generally pick a second-hand Maruku MK60, MK70, MK38 for probably eight or 900 pounds, maybe a thousand pounds. So that's the only thing I would add in that I haven't particularly got in this. And I also said a Betanzoli. So that gives you a good all-round basic range of what you're gonna get for 600 to a thousand pounds so if any of you want any information if any of you are looking for a gun please comment below i'd love to hear your thoughts on what gun to have what gun to buy for your 600 to a thousand pounds i hope you've enjoyed this program please like us on facebook follow us on instagram please 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 join the membership for as little as 2.99 a month and don't forget go on to the shooting channel website and receive your 10 percent off merchandise we'll see you on the next one